I always had this uh, ambition to uh, do something big, uh, had this uh, like go somewhere, uh, achieve something, right? You have to be very good at your whatever you are doing, right? The core skills that is given, but that is not enough. You have to think how would you present that to others? How would that help others? So always think, uh, start thinking about whatever you're learning, how they can be applied in the real world. And what problems exactly are you solving? Once you are confident about your skill sets, try to demonstrate with some projects, with some practical uh, uh, experiences, and document it in some manner. Welcome to Educanting. Today's session is mainly for the students who are right now in their MSc and preparing for job. And for that discussion, today we have with us Saurabh Nundi. <clears throat> Saurabh, welcome to our show. Thanks for inviting me. Great to uh, be here. Thanks a lot. So, so to just start the session, first we will start with your story. Please share your journey with us. <clears throat> sure. So, just before starting, I think I uh, wish you a great success with Educantin. And it's very inspiring to see uh, you actually starting that and actually having the patience to continue throughout the episodes. Okay. I remember our conversation back, back in Narendrapur as well as IIT Kanpur about starting something, helping the students, helping the uh, early career professionals. So I'm, I'm really glad that uh, you're continuing with that initiative. Coming uh, back to my story. So my story starts uh, from a really remote uh, place in Bengal. Uh, so a very uh, small village with very peaceful, very serene lifestyle, long green paddy fields devoid of technology. So very peaceful life, very uh, a calm life. But I always had this, uh, all these ambitions, right? Ki, uh, where, where am I? Uh, like, I don't have access to all these resources in cities and all these, let's say, IIT or I am this kind of places, right? So I always had this uh, ambition to uh, do something big, uh, had this, uh, like, go somewhere, uh, achieve something, right? So, uh, yeah, so the journey starts from there. Uh, and the, the childhood was very uh, peaceful. I was kind of an introverted, shy, uh, natured person, uh, which probably has changed uh, since then. So I always immerse myself in books, many multiple uh, great uh, uh, authors like, let's say, uh, Rabindranath Tagore or a Shamiji or a Vivekananda, Netaji. So I always, I, I see uh, Vivekananda and Gautam Buddha uh, at your background. So, <laughs> yeah. so I always uh, got inspired <laughs> uh, by, by their work, by their writing. And I thought that uh, uh, I, I also have to achieve something big and do something uh, in the world. So uh, I, I uh, then uh, after uh, completing my schooling journey, I joined uh, RKM Narendrapur in Kolkata. Now, that was a very transformative period. Like Before joining in Narendrapur, I was in this uh, very safe, protective, uh, known kind of environment. It's like an ordered life. And then I'm venturing out into chaos unknown new people new, new uh let's say a new city hostel life so there's a lot of struggles a lot of uh problems initially adjusting so i thought that uh like and at that point of time it was very really disturbing but looking back that was the time where i transformed myself so so the so the key learning here is to uh wh whenever you face challenges you go through ups and downs uh, try to push through and try to like always trust that the dots will connect uh, sometime in the future. So and and don't uh, avoid the the hard conversations, the the short term struggles. Right, uh, go and uh, face the challenges, and uh, that's how you develop. That's how you know about yourself, and that's how uh, uh, the growth happens basically. So yeah, so uh, mm, uh, st starting from a typical middle class Indian uh, family, we had all these, uh, like the biggest aspiration is going to a government job uh, like ISS and then uh, probably settling down and then living happily ever after, right? Quite fair tale kind of <laughs> journey. But uh, then after I joined, I, I got the opportunity uh, to join uh, MSc Statistics uh, from IIT Kanpur. Then I got exposed to this whole new world of entrepreneurship, uh, building something, creating impact, uh, a totally new kind of uh, environment, right? So that actually uh, transformed me a lot. And then at the similar time, geo revolution happened. We got access to very uh, high quality internet. 
So all these YouTube channels, new, uh, let's say people like Ray Dalio, people like Jordan Peterson, and let's say uh, uh, Vinod Khoshla. So all these entrepreneurs, Elon Musk, Steve Jobs, I got to learn about them. So this amalgamation, amalgamation of the traditional Indian, uh, let's say our philosophy and uh, let's say culture and the modern uh, uh, new age what like the uh, things that are happening at Silicon Valley at the forefront of technology. So that actually transformed me a lot. And I decided uh, to actually change track from government job to uh, 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 industry <laughs> pretty well. But unless you talk to others, uh, uh, actually communicate your ideas really well and then build something together, the things can't move. It's it's uh, a bit different from academia, but you can, uh, to some extent, uh, work independently, learn stuff, and then uh, write some research papers, right? So that actually uh, showed me the power of communication, the power of collaboration, and also uh, to the uh, the importance of prioritization, because there will be so many things uh, that you can pursue, but uh, you have to find uh, some uh, uh, something that will be useful not only for the market, but also that has to be economically viable uh, so that you can actually sell that, right? So that front-end kind of a learning was there, key talking to people, uh, thinking from a customer's point of view. Maybe you think your product is the best one, but if yeah. the person at the end uh, uh, can't use it very simply, then it's it's not that useful. So a good example here is to see the global products like Google. If you go to google.com, it's such a clean interface like, it's just a one uh, search bar and then nothing else is there. Yeah. It's so beautiful, right? So this design thinking, this uh, uh, thinking from a user's perspective, it's not like a clunky, all these hundreds of features. Google has, Google could have built like a million features, right? But they didn't do that. So these kind of learnings actually happened in industry. Uh, you, you, it's not enough only to be technically very sufficient and then build a product with good features but also to think how the users would uh, interact with the product, how would it look like really. So yeah, that was the internship. And then uh, after that, uh, I got a PPO from Ford to join back as a full-timer, but I thought I would explore the startup world. Uh, and Ford was a great learning experience. I, I really, uh, that was my first corporate uh, 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 kind of experience. And I thought I, I saw kind of a respect that is given to people in industry, right? Uh, which, uh, to be very honest, is somewhat lacking in the academia. Like as a student or even sometimes as a PhD student, sometimes, not always, absolutely, but sometimes the professors are not, uh, they don't think of you as a collaborator. Uh, <laughs> but in industry, you are like an independent personality and uh, uh, you are given uh, proper, like an independent kind of a, uh, uh, image, right? So I, I really like that part. And again, I'm being very honest here. I have seen many people in PhD while doing PhD go, go through a long period of uh, depression because uh, there are some problems and the institution mechanism is not able to solve that. And they don't have any option for that, right? So to be honest, this was also one of the reasons I didn't pursue PhD. I thought if I do pursue in the future, I'll go try to uh, apply abroad and not uh, in India. So yeah, so I think that's it. And then after uh, that, I joined a startup, Symphony AI in Bangalore. Uh, there we were working on healthcare uh, analytics. We are building uh, uh, basically data products related to oncology. It was a really uh, fun learning experience. Bangalore is the Silicon Valley of India. A lot of uh, youth uh, startup work culture and going away from your home, the hostel lifestyle, that was also very, uh, a, a lot of fun. Matlab, uh, once you are in a protected environment, there is uh, there'll be so that uh, home to Nandapur was the first phase, but it was like the bigger expansion, like to a new city, new language, uh, new people. So I think yeah, th those kind of uh, learnings are there, and uh, yeah, so that has been just a journey. And I joined Morgan Stanley as a quant. I was always interested in finance, and I, I was working in uh, basically risk management uh, 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 quant in Morgan Stanley. And since then, currently, uh, I have been working with Deserve, again, a startup in uh, Bombay. And here, I'm working on portfolio management and uh, wealth management space. Okay. So, okay. That's a long <laughs> one-way talk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a very great, it's a very inspiring journey. So, now, now I will go to the second phase, second question. Like, here, I, 
the students who right now in the aim just starting their ms so what should be they learn what should they keep in mind how to utilize these two years like we saw that in msc we didn't get that much of time there are many more things so how to plan this two year and what are the extra skill they should acquire to get private correct, correct. Hmm, hmm, hmm. so a couple of things uh, first of all you have to be very good at your whatever you are doing right the core skills that is given but that is not enough you have to think how would you present that to others how would that help others so not only maybe you can start building some portfolios for example this youtube videos coda answers maybe a portfolio of let's say github uh, uh, kernels let's say some website maybe if you are interested in something uh, creating some clubs creating some let's say ngos so those kind of practical experiences whatever you are learning try to connect that with theory in for example in our statistics right uh, you are learning some our algorithm and you are uh, using that to build some models on some theoretical data set but when you go to the real world the real world data would be very messy the models won't actually apply properly so those kind of issues will you'll face once you come to from books to the real world and that that is where the learning happens so my suggestion would be always think uh, start thinking about whatever you're learning how they can be applied in the real world and what problems exactly are you solving right so uh, that is one so build a portfolio uh, uh, think of the applications second thing is communication networking building relationship with others now some people approach networking from a transactional point of view ki how can i uh, get help from others but a better way a more sustainable way that i myself have seen to be very useful in my career is to think of it from a other perspective how can you be very skilled and how can you help others so first of all be skilled have some proper uh, 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 hard skills but also work on the soft skills soft skills like negotiation soft skills like how to talk to people how to make others comfortable around you let's say how do you actually communicate your ideas to others and here there are some points like using simplicity avoiding jargons could be very useful for example sometimes in interviews uh, we see that uh, we, we try to use like very big tough hard words to impress others but the interviewers they are, <laughs> they have they are much more experienced than us they will see it through you it's better to actually uh, go to the first principle the fundamentals and actually deeply understand uh, something right and then uh, to understand that and to communicate that ideas in a simple manner so this kind of uh, communication uh, building some portfolio these are a very uh, uh, good place to start and then the third thing is building long term connects with others so once you start building something once you start uh, uh, actually sharing your knowledge with the community people will reach out to you people will thank you and then don't just uh, stop there you also reach out to some people uh, go go make a bond in a in a more personal level right so for example uh, you are going to an internship you are busy with your job and everything whatever task you have given but go to talk to other people right if you are new to a job new to an internship uh, new to a project in a research lab try to actually uh, introduce yourself to others and uh, be curious uh, understand what's going on how the whole uh, system is working and uh, yeah this is i think very useful and then finally embracing simplicity that i already touched upon ki uh, try to actually go deeper don't just uh, memorize the formulas uh, and i think this is a problem uh, our indian education ecosystem has is ki we try to see ki this is the defined syllabus you memorize this you <laughs> so that's like no, not like a good uh, way to learn and i think this is a uh, this is somewhere uh, some of the top institute like iits have implemented really well uh, is that rote memorization won't take you any far you have to understand uh, uh, and you have to apply the concepts uh, so that, that's a, another thing and finally i will say that create strong signals what i mean by that is maybe you don't you have not the base grades maybe you have not been to the best colleges but you have a unique set of experiences that make you distinct from others so don't uh, just put the generic stuff but actually talk about your struggles talk about the fights you have been uh, doing the learnings the challenges so try to show your own amazing personality and curiosity right that is the thing that actually connects you to other people 
so uh, here uh, strong signals could be those portfolios those uh, uh, like own your own personal viewpoints how you think of something have those kind of things in mind how is your story unique and what do you actually uh, think about what do you actually uh, what are your views on different topics right that is one and the final thing would be uh have a long term view so you will see that me often times there are a lot of spikes in some buzzword some buzz industry but those are short term spikes have a long term view what are you actually interested in and uh, see if you uh, in you can't matlab you can create a good career in any field obviously there are some uh, constraints for example in india it's easier to build a career on stem field uh, that will be well paying rather than arts right but even in arts if you actually love arts and if you uh, actually use internet uh, uh, try to understand how you can uh, create a build a career in this path you can also uh, create a great career right so don't think of it ki uh, this field is paying the best or uh, uh, maybe this is the most hyped thing so let me go do this but rather try to actually understand yourself ki what are your interest how, what is your what do you like or dislike and then try to create a career in that manner yeah i think that would be a couple of solutions yeah and completely agreed with you also like uh, the point you have mentioned along, along with our core subject which we are reading in this two year we have to learn the soft skill we have to learn the how networking and that deep knowledge of the thing that that is a very helpful thing so the point you have already mentioned networking and the personal branding so how mm-hmm. this is important like uh, how one can how one can leverage this and that one useful tool is the linkedin we all, all, all use linkedin so how to use linkedin how to leverage that and how to make that personal brand branding and network sure sure so yeah so uh, i think i briefly touched upon that but let me go deeper so here uh, two three things first of all you have to be really sharp in your own core skill set so if you uh, sometimes Uh, we think ki chalo kuch sikha nahi ja raha hai profs utna updated nahi hai i i've not access to the proper uh, resources right mm-hmm. so don't have that mindset nowadays everybody has internet and the best quality highest quality resources are available for free so go to sites like coursera like edx like let's say khan academy and all these and youtube definitely youtube has been i think most impactful website in my career other than linkedin so go and learn yourself don't rely on others no one will spoon feed you so whatever you uh, want to do go uh, search about it on google chat gpt whatever right so and then uh, coda is also a good website and then start uh, creating a path forward now one thing i uh, try to mention here is internet is like a endless domain so sometimes we just uh, keep searching and searching downloading random things uh, going to debates like r versus python this tool versus that tool those are not helpful try to create a path and then just start iterating like read about the stuff try to understand it if you don't understand discuss with your friends teachers apply it and then come back and then uh, basically there will be a cycle right so that is one then once you are confident about your skill sets try to demonstrate with some projects with some practical uh, uh, experiences and document it in some manner now, now you have a portfolio now you have a cv now you have a solid skill set now the next step is to put you uh, yourself out in the world through linkedin through uh, even there are some facebook groups also that are helpful and then uh, posting something uh, reaching out to recruiters reaching out to hiring managers so uh, a- attending industry meetups if possible nowadays even a lot of online things happen for free right so you can reach out to even if your college doesn't provide you with the infrastructures uh, first of all you should uh, try to find some similar minded people who have the same goals it is always easier to brainstorm and then share resources and move together than uh, being in a silo and learning so uh, try to ha- create that uh, groups and definitely it's easier uh, to uh, if you are in a good college could as in with more opportunities and i i totally understand that even uh, in in my case also uh, before moving into iitk the profs were really helpful the environment like the learning elements were there but the 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 kind of a uh, a good institute provides you with a very high, like high kind of leverage that actually magnifies whatever you have learned whatever you have uh, uh, absorbed that magnifies that to actually uh, give you 
let's say introducing through some campus placements uh, making industry connects so those things are really helpful but even if you don't have access to these right you do have access to the sites like linkedin sites like coda youtube so you you should connect with other people uh, you should connect with the hiring managers and try to build a network uh, and think of the long term not only short term how uh, what would you get from others but how would you be able to help others so that's the uh, other thing the final thing is that people actually love to help others so if you are polite enough if you uh, 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 so let's say you are approaching someone right you you have some questions uh, you want to ask the answer don't just randomly ask the questions give some context ki yeah i have been following you uh, for a long time i really like your posts and all and then this is my problem this is how i think about it this is this could be the next step these are the choices i have now if you please guide me so if you create it will make it easier to uh, uh, easier for someone to help you then you will get more responses better responses yeah that is one and that's uh, other thing is uh, there like if you search on uh, google uh ki top job search sites in india they will find sites like nokri uh, monster indeed cartshot a lot of many sites so go through them uh, uh, upload your profile upload your resume uh, re- try refreshing that uh, from time to time go uh, 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 apply to the job sites and all so create a process like let's say don't just uh, think that uh, chalo 10 application bhej diye koi reply nahi aaya ab kya hoga so you have to actually keep applying you have to create a process and uh, it is a bit hard uh, to to uh, crack the first job first opportunity because you don't have a track record so why would someone trust you right yeah. so for that yeah so for that you have to uh, uh, have that confidence in yourself that no i have done the projects it, i don't only have the theoretical only i can apply it i can work together well in a team so i do have the soft skill i know negotiation i know how to uh, uh, deal with uh, handle pressure i know how to prioritize so first build these skills and then communicate those skills and then keep following up obviously don't spam but people are busy so if you have sent your resume to someone uh, one or two follow up could be helpful uh, so yeah i think these are the basic tips uh, that i'll share and then finally reach out to your seniors reach out to uh, uh, other maybe you have some professor who might have uh, a good industry connect so talk to them about that like if you don't ask the answer is always no so you have to uh, reach out yeah 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 and so the, my my next question in the continuation my next question was like that that the students who didn't play a job by campusing the by campus placement or the students where that institute don't have access to campus placement so how they Correct. how do how that student themselves by themselves they can crack the job so on that yeah, note yeah. you just mentioned that uh, they have to try they have to put some cv different job portal so do you add any more thing on that part sure sure so first of all you have to understand uh, so wherever you are applying so let's say if you are applying for a phd or a research based position don't think it from your perspective but think of from the professor's perspective of the research lab perspective and then the whole d- dynamic changes so you won't say ki i have done this i have done that this that and that but you will say ki i went through your research paper and i think we can actually extend this idea in this way i want to work with you uh, in this summer on that would you be available so once the person will see that you have done your research you have done your homework the probability of you getting a reply will increase so always think from the other uh, side's perspective in general in in anything in life think of a win win then only it will be helpful right even from a uh, uh, let's say you you are you have, you have studied some subject you have some skill sets but uh, the, the for a company for a industry uh, professional who is going to hire you for them you don't matter their problems matters their uh, uh, customers matter so you have to think of it how your skills can solve their problems and whenever you are reaching out to people Try, don't just write ki i have done this i have done that but i saw that your farm is launching this initiative and my skill set that i have would be helpful in this manner so think of it from that perspective ki uh, why would the person give me a chance versus others and the second thing is that whenever we are uh, shortlisting resumes uh, from candidates let's say because in india there's a lot of uh, 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 low quality uh, things are there for example any job posting 
uh, we we give na sometimes people even don't even look at is it a relevant and just apply randomly even i used to do that so i can sympathize with that so because of this sometimes recruiters don't even read your resume so it's always helpful to after applying through the website just send them a message on linkedin try to find that email id send them a mail so this, this follow ups could be very useful first of all secondly whatever uh, uh, skill sets are mentioned sometimes maybe there are 20 skills mentioned you don't have all of them you have 10 but go apply and then uh, show them the confidence that i can actually learn on my own uh, so i think yeah so that would be another thing uh, ki uh, uh, you have to be a bit little bit uh, more uh, uh, confident on your skill set and focus more on the learning experience ki although i don't know this right now i can actually learn and on my own so that agency that uh, uh, you can show from your perspectives right ki i have these things were not there in my courses but i learned them on our own uh, through courses or through these kind of sites and uh, another point i would like to mention here sometimes people think that money is a big constraint even i used to think that but it is not because nowadays almost always there are lots of free resources available and there are ways like financial aid in coursera there uh, or edx Uh, there are ways to uh, actually approach uh, uh, them and then ask them for a discount for a free course so learn about those things try to find out uh, find out about those things i think yeah so i think these are couple of the things i would uh, suggest and then finally after uh, you have applied after you have joined the organization don't just get stuck into your own role try to understand how the whole machine works how do you, your work fit into the whole system if you are working on something make sure it is actually visible to the higher uh, authority right so i think these are some of the skills uh, that would be very useful yeah. yeah and i completely agree with you and i also want to add one two thing when someone when someone is applying when someone creating a cv so think from the that interviewer perspective like what they are they want from me what they want to see right. in my cv and you are writing you are writing your whole life achievement in a small one a four paper so when you are writing something in that if that if for paper be authentic about that thing you are writing and be clear about it don't don't write everything and don't write the few things so write in a concise manner on a summary sheet and in that one if for sheet you have to sell yourself so keep in mind that thing and uh, many Absolutely. people many 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 student think that i have to only give my skills they add 10 skills like microsoft excel microsoft powerpoint don't add those thing and not only the skill the interviewer want they also want the overall overall skill like along with their job along with their the technical skill they want their management skill how they did they manage something did did had did the student have the power of communication management all these things so be be authentic and be serious about that when you are writing some cv and creating some cv very well said absolutely agree and i totally agree with the point ki almost always a resume is like very generic and same things are mentioned try yeah. to show how you are different from others not the same uh, you just copy paste senior resume yeah, right right and one more thing i want to know from you and i also i also want to make some point on that also like the in- internship before going to before applying for the job try to apply the first year try to apply for the internship make sure that anyhow i want to get a internship that will give me the exposure of the corporate culture so give some point on absolutely, that how absolutely. important is that Yeah, it's very important and uh, again like coming to let's say if you are going to do a phd try to go, do good projects in a top, top research lab just reach out to professors uh, just randomly email them and similarly if you want to do a job uh, try, and I, i would suggest to explore both of them ki do a project do a industry yeah. internship and then decide then you will get the flavor right so yeah. it's a bit hard to get the first uh, internship but again the same process of job search applies here you have to show that you are a professional they don't have to train you too much you'll handle the learning part on your own and then just start reaching out and maybe you, so personally what i did is that uh, i told them that i don't even want a uh, stipend because you will be teaching that i understand that and that itself is very valuable to me so i understand that not uh, everyone would have that uh, 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 place ki uh, if like sometimes you might need some money because of your family constraints but that is also totally fine like you can say ki uh, i am uh, i'm happy to work as long as 
uh, you give me a limited segment so those kind of be a bit flexible but other than that i think it's similar to whatever the same process applies yeah great so great point sourav and i think these points are very helpful for the students